It seems lately that I've been asked a lot of questions about transfer switches in RVs, especially with camper vans. This topic has different levels of complexity depending on the setup and the needs of the user. There are times when designing an RV that we may need a way to transfer between more than one source of power. It will become necessary to have a transfer switch to safely switch between them. But what if we need to switch between three sources of power and why would we need or want to do that? I have come across several cases where I've needed to do just that. So for our first example, perhaps we would like to be able to choose between shore power, a generator, or a battery powered inverter. If the generator is portable, we could simply just plug the shore power cord into the generator and just have a transfer switch for between the shore power and the inverter. This is done most of the time with portable generators. However, let's say we have a permanently installed generator. Well, it still could be connected by plugging the shore power cable into a generator output socket, but that would probably be a little too inconvenient. Another option is to use two transfer switches. The first will choose between the generator and the shore power, and the second to choose between them and the inverter. But a better option is to use a three-way transfer switch. And specifically, a more ideal option is to use an automated three-way transfer switch. So with this, it will automatically swap to the preferred source when that source has power available. Another scenario I have is one that I designed and use on the Omnia van. In this case, I used two inverters, one that is powered from a lithium iron phosphate battery bank and one that runs off the van's electrical system when the van is running. The first inverter I refer to as the A inverter and the later as the V inverter for vehicle inverter. Since I use a 120 volt residential refrigerator in the Omnia van, the V inverter will provide power for it while the van is running. It can also provide power to charge the lithium iron phosphate battery bank with using an AC-DC charger, the same one that's used to charge with shore power. This eliminates the need to have a separate DC to DC converter and heavier cabling since 120 volts can carry the same amount of power with less current. So when the van isn't running and we don't have shore power connected, the A inverter will provide power from the battery bank. The best way to connect these again is with a three-way automated transfer switch. Although with the Omnia van, I use a slave three-way switch, which is controlled by a power management system. It adds a lot of features such as surge suppression, voltage monitoring, load shedding, transfer override, and more via the Perfect Campers Area Network. Another option is to use an inverter with self-contained switching such as the Victron MultiPlus 2. You would need to add a transfer switch if you wanted to use it with a V inverter or generator and shore power. Or you could go with a Victron Quattro inverter that can internally switch between two external 120 volt sources. But this is a more expensive option but will provide you with some other features like being able to supplement shore power with inverter power. This feature is nice when you need to operate a high power appliance when you are connected to a 15 amp shore power source. So installing a transfer switch, especially an automated transfer switch, isn't very complicated, but it will make your life in your RV or van much more enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed this short video, and if you would, please subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the like button. Thank you for watching.